Thank you for joining us today. Our next theme is hidden power. Hidden power. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. So, shall we go to see that? Looking, what kind forward, of to <laughs> Looking forward to hidden power. Ooh. It's kind of for me. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. The painting's rather small, so please don't feel free to a little bit closer to the. Yeah. Or moving. Yeah. Anyway. It looks like a yes. video game. Video game. Video ah. game. And he's coming to take over. Coming this is to the, take over. This is what? the power. Yes. And they're they they're the new like like I'm the I'm the new force and this is my land and I come to take over. Do you have the same yeah. impression? No, I, I see it two different ways. I think one way is Perhaps according to, you know, along the lines of Japanese legend, you yes. know, somebody's struggling, somebody yes. needs help, so the gods are coming down I see. if they are worthy mm -hmm. to help them. Mm -hmm. But then I can also see it another way where there oh, yeah, is a two person, ways. Yes, please. Right. Like as if a person is here going through something, struggling. Yes at a crossroads and has to bring out his or, well, I guess in this case, his inner strength. Yes. Whether that's patience, strength, endurance, and perhaps that could oh, some, I see. somehow symbolize that. I think it's about God. God? Oh, God. God. God, yeah. God and... Uh, uh, you mean that these, which one's God? Of course, the Making red. Making sure that, the red. That, yeah, so like. it's the red is the symbol, symbol of power always. Oh, huh? I fire. see. Yes, fire. This is the power. The fire, flame. The, the color yes. is the power. No? So then down we see like a ocean or whatever, water, like in the storm. That means it could be the life. No, I see what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, but the only yes, thing I know, yes, yes. they're not yeah, smiling. Many. No. They're not smiling. So are yes. they coming to take over or are they coming to help? So for me, if you were coming to help, you'd be happy to appear. <laughs> they're like, <laughs> like, like they're coming to take over. Yeah, so from, that's the, why I, from I look, the expression. Yeah, I look yeah. at the expression of the face, yes. and there's nobody's face there for hope. Look at the gentleman uh, with, the, with the leg up. Yes, yes. He's, look, his eyes look so strong, like yeah. this is my place. His and gaze is yeah, strong. Yeah, he's like, he's like zooming. But th this is this is normal, Stephen, because uh, it's God always. Uh, how 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 can I say? Yes. It's uh, judging us. What we did good, what we did uh, bad, but always we get his help. I yeah. see. So, so, if, you're so get, if you're gonna get some help from from somebody, yes, this person you. coming to help me, I would be afraid of you. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's a scary because face. You, you're there, you know. You yeah, see? so if I'm here, wait, if yeah. I'm here, yeah, but you don't, and I'm looking you for there. help, if I'm looking for help, and I would look they for are this. Coming, right, they're coming, though. They're coming like, oh, you're the one to help me, I'm in the wrong position. But, the one in the middle reminds me of the, like, Kanon statues right, that you'll right. see, and yeah. the one in the red reminds me of the, um, the different tengu or the oni that you would oh, see yes, at certain, yes, like, yes, temples yes, and shrines. Yes, yes, yes. Actually, yeah, they are the kind of the guardian god in Buddhism. And actually, he is not, this figure is Fudo Myo O, uh -huh. one of the guardian god, one of the guardian god in Buddhism. Fudo Myo O, the literally meaning in Japanese is immovable, a wisdom king. And he usually he depicted as uh, with a uh, child attendant like this, and he holds a sword and a rope, and he breaks the evil with a sword and uses a rope to, to help you. To, yes, to to, <laughs> so, to save you. <laughs> to save you. Uh -huh. Yeah. So how about this person? What is he doing here? Waiting for hope. Oh. It's like, you know, can be uh, also another interpretation, you yes, know? Yes, please. Can be like, let's say, the water. Yes. It's our life. Oh, no? yes, you said. And the guy. Yes. Finished with his life. Oh. And staying in that ground and waiting for the judgment. Okay, so by the way, where is this place? What kind of the place is this? 
Looks somewhere far away in the middle in of the, the ocean. ocean. <laughs> middle in the ocean. In the ocean. <laughs> ocean. For sure, it's in Japan. I saw many times, like uh, uh, in the. Islands, no? Yes. Ocean and mountain, no? Mountain. Yeah, I think along any coast in Japan. Yeah, he's on rocks, a he's on a raft. Waves. He's on a broken piece of um, tree, and he's see. drifting, l waiting. That's for... tree. That's yes. a looks What's like a. Looks it looks like, like rock. mountain. No? To it me, like it looks like a tree. Tree. Could you, could you, can you see? Well, I, I think it's. A, it's a, I think it's a mountain. It's a, that's the land. It looks like a boulder. Yes, yeah, yeah, I think yeah. so. He's. Drifting in the ocean, and he needs some help. It looks like oh, it's that's, all that's yeah. or the rocks. Yeah, yes. So but he's stuck in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. Now I should tell you that the title Please. of this painting, okay. the Nachi Fall. Nachi oh, Falls. Oh, Nachi Falls. Yeah. Fall. yeah like that, but yeah. no wonder you think you think this is the ocean because have you heard the name of Nachi? Nachi Falls. Oh, it's a waterfall. No wonder you saw this is the ocean because Nachi Falls is the best known for as their uh, drop. Uh, drop it's the drop tallest, drop. tallest yeah, waterfall tallest, yeah, yeah. in Japan. Let me introduce you this Please. painting a little bit more. The, this painting made by created by the Mr. Keisen Tomita in 1935. It's Japanese style painting. And as the Paul remember the the Austerity. Yes. We call that the waterfall meditation. Okay, I understand. Yes. But such a tall, big fall. Heavy. These guys could survive? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> That's interesting because you might not be able to survive, and when you have somebody looking like that coming to get you. You got to do have two things against you. Oh my God, so many interpretations. <laughs> but it's, it's amazing you said that he must be died dead already. Actually, during the, his uh, waterfall meditation, he at near death. He he was near death twice. Once I almost died, but. Revitalize again. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Is this a true story or is this the true story? This he's, is a true story. A, he's a real historical figure, the priest monk. Ah, okay, so this in is the 12th century. Oh, right, because okay. he, he has prayer beads in his hand. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Now so you know, Juzu, if this the is real, prayer what is rock. This? It's real. The Fudomyo. It's real. Uh, it depends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is, is, it, is it a story on that's his a, account? That's what I'm asking. That's what he. Yeah. This is what he says he experienced. How to survive? Yeah. No? Is it's this a, his re it's re inter it, you know, it's, it's Interestingly, this story is also come from the tale of Heike. Tale of Heike is a long story and contains many various stories like ghosts and ordinary people and the priest among the stories in it. And in somehow, maybe some part is a fiction, but somehow we believe it happened because Mongaku Shigemori is the real historical person. Do you think that those figures visible from Mongaku's eye? Oh, it's a nice question. I feel if this person is looking at his inner self, if maybe he's close to death, and he sees something that may haunt him or help him. Exactly. Like I said about God Judgment. earlier, everyone has a different understanding, a different belief, a different vision of what they see right. and what they believe. Right. So this person, I can't speak for them, but if I look at it, <laughs> I see that they're not coming to help me. They're coming to hurt me. I think, um Exactly, if we're thinking in a spiritual manner, it could be something from within you or something um, that he feels was approaching him. But we could also take a psychological stance and look at it as if he was near death, he was probably experiencing some sort of trauma. Mm. And when people experience trauma, mm. they turn to coping mechanisms. And per sometimes that coping mechanism is realizing that somebody is going to come help you. Yeah, but actually the mongaku, the priest mongo is, is revitalized or resurrected. And he, since he has a, such a dramatic life, actually he was a samurai, he used to be a samurai, but from some reason he removes and becomes a priest and later in, in, in later life he is very active with the politi politics and uh, we since he's very 
so he's popular had many person. We have stories. the many many artists depicted him in the many ways, and one of the <laughs> one of the statue in this museum is this is priest Mongak. Is that very him? different. <laughs> it looks very different. This though. is him. Yes. He looks stronger here. He looks much yeah. stronger. Yeah. yeah, maybe after the heart yes. religious training. He looks very strong. Yes. And he looks like he has scars. Yeah, and... yeah. We don't know the background. Like we don't know the background in this art. Yes. I, I'm, I'm, I appreciate what you're saying, but just because you're saying it doesn't make it true. It doesn't make it. Just because this says this. Okay, the writing, it tells you the story. Mm. But we weren't there. Mm. So we don't know, we have to look at it from right now. Like I look at art. If I look at this, mm. honestly, you and I weren't here. Oh, <laughs> you, yeah, yeah, you yeah, weren't yeah. here 1,000 years ago. Yes. So we have to look at it through our eyes. Yes. Yeah. And through the eyes I'm looking at, I'm looking at today. Yes. I can't look at 1,000 years ago because mm -hmm. I wasn't here. Yes. Unless I'm the best kept looking. <laughs> you know, I wasn't here. So if I look at it now, it looked like a video game. Yes. And to me, yes. that's now. Yes. But 1,000 years ago, maybe yes. they looked at it in a different way when he mm. was making it because nobody knew about a video yes. game. For me, that's the beauty of art. Yeah, yeah. You, can, you can come from any table to give your yeah. opinion. Yeah. It's beautiful. And actually, since the Japanese style painting is no shade or just the, how you say, contour yeah. is a very strong line, and it's just like the origin of the manga and anime and I think it's the a com video game. In my, in yes. my opinion, it's a combination about the modern and old. Yes. This is the red one and all the, that is like modern, modern sport and then old, which is that's right. you know, yeah. right. and that's it. It's kind yes. of like a, because it's a shock for me when I, oh, yes. when I looked to this first time and I said, why he used red? Oh. And uh, uh, did all that very, because let's, let's be honest, all that uh, characters are kind of modern. I see. That's why oh. we go to the, to the game show, uh, the, right. the, yeah, that's uh, it's modern. Could you find any hidden power in this? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Much power. They're taking over. They have the power. Ah, oh, power. Yeah. The flow of power. Yeah. Here comes the power. I see. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's just my interpretation. Yeah, yeah, I think if we say hidden power specifically, then I would go back to my my fir first guess, which is something from within to bring out of you in yes, times yes, of struggle yes, and yes. I see, yes. Well, I think if we're relating, because this whole time looking at it, I was relating the gods to mm. the man on the rock. Me too. But if we relate it in the sense of the gods and the waterfall, that makes complete sense for me because growing up, my grandmother, my Japanese grandmother is very spiritual. And we always go to the mountains to harvest vegetables and mushrooms, mm. and then we thank the mountains afterwards because there are the gods of the mountains. And so we could relate it to these gods representing the strength of the waterfall, and that would make a lot of sense. They could be the spirits of the waterfall. I see. Today's event to me was very knowledgeable. I've always enjoyed going to various museums, but I never felt that I truly learned in depth about these artists or their backstories. And so this experience added to that. And I also got to meet people who I never would have otherwise had the chance to meet and have a dialogue with. So it was very fun. Thank you. How was it everyone? Finally. I would like to introduce the National Museum of Modern Art Tokyo. The National Museum of Modern Art Tokyo is the first national museum in Japan located close to Tokyo Station. As I already introduced earlier, many works of modern and contemporary art, mainly Japanese art from the 20th century to the present, are on display. The collection includes more than 13,000 pieces. There are various genres of collections and 15 important cultural properties are included in the museum, and it is truly proud of Japan. You will find that many tourist spots are scattered around the area, and it is full of attractions such as the Imperial Palace and Kitanomaru Park. After visiting the museum, you can also enjoy sightseeing courses such as walking around the Imperial Palace and shopping in Marunouchi. Please make sure to stop by when you come to Japan. I'll be waiting.